Brian over at Swan Financial, Donna, behind on her mortgage by four months. And in the email she sent me, she says she's offered to make partial payments to her mortgage company, but the mortgage company is refusing. And we're seeing more and more of these emails about getting behind on mortgages. She's wondering, why would they do that? She's trying to keep from going into foreclosure. So, Ryan, any thoughts about, I know the answer, but I'm giving you the opportunity to respond first. So for Donna, you know, if she has uh, cash laying around, you know, that she can use saved up, she can probably, you know, offer to pay down to principal and probably get back right with the mortgage. Um, being four months late, that's about your only option to to come out of that is if, if you can put a chunk of money down back at it. They typically won't take partial payments. Um, you know, when you close on that mortgage, um, like Lee will tell you, that's a contractual agreement that you're going to pay these payments. And uh you know they, they they won't take the partials um now if if you're not totally all the way four months it's you know my recommendation is when you get to that point where you're close to being behind go ahead and reach out to a mortgage officer mortgage specialist or us uh and um find a way to get out of that get ahead of it before that happens you know if you you're allowed to have one 30 day late in 12 months and still refinance um and you know maybe get a lower payment and uh refinancing at least will save you get you two months without having to make a payment um, anytime you refinance your home um, you can usually get in one month you, almost always you can set it up to get two months without having to make a payment so if you're ready to be behind i would say contact um get in touch with us um we can give, make, get you refinance um to get you save you two months to try to figure out what to do from there quick thing donna you can also do a loan modification lee We've done many loan modifications in the past, and that basically starts a process where they tack on what you owe on the back end of the mortgage. Not sure it's the most economical way to go, but that is another option. You agree on that, Lee? Yes. Anytime there's a foreclosure file, there's going to be a loss mitigation department that's going to be dealing with that. And you can contact them and ask them to send you a loss mitigation package. And one of those things is, includes loan, loan modification. Um, and if they look at your documentation and you qualify for that, then it can modify the terms to something that you can afford. But again, as Bob said, you're you're tacking on more to the end there. So you're not exactly you're not actually getting uh, forgiven this money. You're just you're just getting out of a situation right now that maybe down the road you can you can refinance or you can get back on your feet and and keep your home. Yeah. And one more thing you could think of is a short sale. We're certified to do these. We've done these many times back in 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. But just give me a call at 376-5483, and I'll be able to walk you through what the process is and decide if you want to, in fact, go that route. I should remind you that you can see a replay of this show by going to LouisvilleAnswers.com. That's LouisvilleAnswers.com. That's a redirect to our YouTube channel where this show will be residing for you to watch in its entirety. If you'd like to see what sellers are saying about us, we love our reviews. We love our clients. You can go to louisvillezillow.com or louisvillegoogle.com, louisvillezillow.com or louisvillegoogle.com.